Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Centarsieri from Big Sur. And on this series of videos, I'm going to show you how you can create and install your own SAP environment for testing. The first thing that you need to do is to go to the SAP NetWeaver developer section, as you can notice on the URL. And we're going to download the SAP NetWeaver application server ABAP. This is the developer edition 7.52 Super Package 01. Now, I want you to download every single one of the RAR files that you see here. That will contain the trial version for SAP. Let me tell you that it's not that you can install SAP on every single operating system or every single flavor of each one of those operating systems. You need to be using the operating systems that are certified by SAP. The one that we're going to be using for this set of videos is SUSE Linux, specifically SUSE Linux for SAP. For this video, we're going to be using the SAP Applications 12 Super Package 4. You can download this from suse.com slash products slash slash for SAP slash download. Quite simple. Once you download everything, you should see something like this. You don't need to download both ISOs for the operating system, which is the first DVD we are going to be just fine. And then you will have all the RAR files. So what I want you to do is click here, extract here. This will take some time. And as we are here and meanwhile we wait, what we are going to do is we're going to create a new virtual machine for our SAP system. You can use any virtualization software that you have. I own a license of VMware Workstation, and that's what I'm going to use. There we go. Specifically, I'm going to be using version 15, but it doesn't matter what version you, you're going to use, it's, it's the same. You can use VirtualBox, you can use VMware Fusion, you can use whatever you want. So, what we're going to do, we're going to create a new virtual machine. Then we're going to be specifying the ISO file, I have it right here. It's been detected automatically. See, SUSE Linux Enterprise 12, 64 bits. Good. Next. Just type the name of the user that we're going to have and a password. Click Next. Here's where you want to drop the virtual machine. I'm going to do some modifications here. You can play and modify and set a path wherever you need or want. So I have a bigger drive here. Uh, Good. And my virtual machine is going to be called SAP NetWeaver 7.5 Linux. 64. Good. And as we are here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly create a folder for that guy. There we go. New SAP 75. And I want the VM to be dropped there. Good. Click on next. As this is going to be just a demo environment, one core, one processor is fine. What we're going to do, and this is also for the installation time, I like to give it like 10 gigabytes. Um, this is a little bit too much. If you tweak the work processes, uh, you can give it far less RAM. I just wanted to give it 10. 
we're gonna be using a bridge you could use NAT as well next next we're going to create a new disk it, it can be a non-allocated disk I'm going to be given up to 400 gigabytes just because we need to put the installers there etc and we click on finish this will take a second as we are extracting all the files as well there we go Okay, so now we log in. Perfect. Go to home, create a new folder, call it SAP, and copy all the files that we have here. This will take quite a while okay you don't care that much about that one so before we start we need to do a couple things as I explained it before There we go. Then what I want you to do, go here on Applications, System Tools, and initialize the YAST. From here, we're going to do everything. We're going to set a static IP address. We're going to change the host name, add a default gateway, and a couple more things. So go to network settings. Okay, click on edit. And as I said before, we're going to use an static IP address. So this guy will be 192.168.0.111.55.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
and reveal that you have these packages. The one that we care the most is the UU Wii. Takes about a second to impact. Here, what you need to do, something that I forgot, is you need to make sure that the CD is mounted on the virtual machine. Retry and it will work. We are installing those packages from the DVD, from the ISO. Click on finish. Now we can close this guy. Go back to SAP, open a new shell, and you do sudo you need to agree to the license, type the password. for the OS, and that's it. From this point, SAP will auto-install itself. Remember what I said that this installation will be way easier than the regular one? Okay, it's because of this. Now, give it a couple minutes, actually several minutes, I would say uh, 45 minutes, and once it's finished, even the SAP services will be up and running. On the next video, I'm going to show you how you connect to this SAP system and how you can activate the system. Okay, this was 